1943 S. Jefferson Nickel struck on a steel scent planchet. Graded as AU-55 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions. The zinc-plated steel alloy scent was a one-year experiment by the U.S. Mint to reserve copper for World War II munitions. Off-metal errors involving this briefly used scent composition are rare. The present mint error features a wartime nickel struck on a steel scent planchet. The coin was struck aligned with the collar die at 6 o'clock. As a result, the upper obverse and lower reverse have a normal appearance, aside from the uncharacteristic dusky gray color. It was sold for $1,680. Number 6. 1955 Lincoln Scent with Double Die Obverse. Graded as AU58 by NGC. A spectacular spread throughout the obverse legends identifies the memorable FS101-1955 double die variety. Collectors were baffled by FS101 upon its discovery, since knowledge of the coin production process was limited in the hobby during the 1950s. Today, we know the doubling was caused by a rotated second hubbing. This is a problem-free chocolate brown near mint example with minimal marks and a single small spot at the obverse center. This specimen ended up selling for $2,400. Number 5. 1943 Washington Quarter with Double Die Obverse. Graded as AU53 by PCGS. There are several double die varieties for the 1943 Washington Quarter. FS103 is the most dramatically doubled, and this is the variety listed in the guidebook. The present example is nearly uncirculated. Detail is strong, but slight friction over the devices determines the AU53 designation. The coin is untoned and satiny with few marks. It was sold for $3,360. Number 4. 1916D Mercury Dime. Graded as VF20 by NGC. This is a delightful, problem-free collector grade example of the key date 1916D Mercury Dime. Where is consistent with the grade, and natural stone gray hues characterize each side. I appeal is excellent. The Denver Mint only struck 264,000 mercury dimes during the series' first year of production, and this remains the biggest challenge for collectors of most grade levels. It was sold for $3,840. Number 3. 1913 Buffalo Nickel, double struck and rotated between strikes. Graded as AU50 by NGC. The first strike was normal, but the coin was not ejected. It remained in the die chamber, rotated approximately 20 degrees clockwise, and was struck a second strike. The second strike effaced the date from the first strike, but we know that the coin was struck in 1913 because the reverse is the Type 1 design with a raised mound below the bison. The Indian has a snub-nosed appearance, and a pie-shaped field is present on the right portion of his neck. The bison has two profile. This elusive error coin ended up selling for $4,320. Number 2. 1944 steel scent. Comes with environmental damage therefore PCGS assigned VF details with no numerical grade. Most collectors and many non-collectors are very familiar with the famous 1943 bronze scent errors, struck on leftover blanks from the previous year's coinage. The less famous but equally important 1944 steel scent errors occurred in the same way, struck on leftover steel blanks from the 1943 coinage. The 1944 steel scents, like their 1943 counterparts, are known from all three operating mints during World War II, with a total estimated population of less than 40 coins. This rare specimen ended up selling for $13,200. Number 1. 1969 S. Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as AU55 by PCGS. The 1969 S. double die obverse Lincoln sent is one of the most famous rarities in this series or any other, well known even to the uninitiated. It takes top spot in Scott Schechter and Jeff Garrett's 100 Greatest Modern U.S. Coins and dominates the cover of that reference. This cherry picker's guide variety has been highly publicized of the years, yet it remains elusive in any grade, a testament to its rarity. It was sold for $20,400. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Your likes, comments and subscriptions are highly appreciated. Stay well and see you in the next episode.